morning to you, laddies. I am not Jacksepticeye, but I am Dr. Volk, back with another drawing video. Today, today when you're seeing this, it's St. Patrick's Day when I'm uploading this, but when I'm recording it, it's actually pie day right now. Hope you had a nice, lovely slice of pie. But today, for St. Patrick's Day, we're going to draw a, well, I'm going to draw a character. One of my lesser known characters, uh, stat in a leprechaun outfit. He, he's kind of ignored, um, but pretty much all of my characters are ignored except for Volk. And, well, everybody else needs to get in the limelight, dang it. So, why not? I'm just gonna start off with a circle. I'm getting, I'm trying to go quickly. Because I'm getting pizza soon. And I want my pizza. So there's that. I really have no idea what else what to talk about today. Um I don't know. So um anyway, how's your St. Patrick's Day going? How how's everything? Do you celebrate St. Patrick's Day? Do you care about St. Patrick's Day? Do you care about any holidays? Are you a Jehovah's Witness? Um, let's see here. Do you know who St. Patrick is? Do you know his real name? If you do know it, don't comment it. But if you do know his real name, which I do, comment below. Just, just wondering if anybody else knows that little piece of trivia out there. I'm gonna try to keep, I'm trying to make the hips look a little bit more masculine while not looking stiff. Because apparently a lot of people say my characters look like girls and I don't know why. Because I suck at drawing girls to be honest. To be completely honest with you. Look, it says I don't want my legs to look stiff. I want my picture to look stiff. Legs are as stiff as a rock. <laughs> Just trying to capitalize on my art style, I guess. Make it the best it can be. And retro. It also, I want it to be retro. So, um, I really don't know what to talk about. What What are you doing today? I, I mean, I already asked you. Hey, pizza! Okay, mommy! I already asked you how you were, but... What are you doing today, anyway? What, what's going on with life? Is it going great? Is it going pretty good? Or is it going not so good? Um... Go on and share with me what's wrong. Um, if there is anything wrong, um, hopefully it is something that you don't mind sharing with everybody. I'm not sure if YouTube has a private chat mode. That would, that would be awesome if it had a private chat mode. Um... I may be getting a Discord soon, if, uh, if time permits, if life permits me, then I can hopefully get a nice working computer to do some, uh, cool stuff with it, to do some cool stuff with, and, yes! Yes, Aiden! I know my pizza's ready! Hold on. Okay, I'm back. I have my pizza. But I'm not gonna eat it just yet. Look at these hands. You wanna catch these hands? This hand? You wanna catch this hand? 
This terrible, terrible looking hand. I cannot draw hands, I'm sorry. Hands are just among the worst things to draw. It is most definitely not the worst thing to draw. That would go to feet. Feet can die. Um, apologies to anyone who happens to not have a foot or may have lost it in battle maybe i don't i don't know if there's any vietnam vet any war veterans here watching but um in case there are if or if you or someone you know does not have a foot my condolences out to them my condolences because feet are awesome except when you have to draw them wait let me see how do i um yeah let's just i'm using my own hand as a reference to how to draw this because i really don't know how to draw this using your own body parts is as a reference for drawing is amazing, I tell you. Especially if you're in a house with no internet and you need a muse. You need a muse and you're just not into... And you don't think any of your friends would be willing just to pose for six million hours for you to draw them. Because nowadays we have pictures. Just take a picture of them and then draw them. You don't have to stand in the same position for six hours while a, port while a painter paints you. Of course, those painters must have been paid very handsomely. And they... And, uh... Well, the actual people who were standing there had better gotten what uh, the money they the, they better have gotten the quality they paid for I would honest because uh, uh, I, I just wouldn't feel it if I was standing there for six hours and then oh no it's a stick person you, you, you made me stand there for six hours just to draw a freaking stick person I'd be ticked off <laughs> but that's besides the point I, I'm not trying to cause any alarm I'm just trying to find something to talk about here you don't know how hard it is for a person who primarily does live commentary to come up with new things to talk about on the spot I, I don't None of my stuff is scripted. None. I probably won't do any scripted works until maybe like... Until maybe if I ever do animations. If I ever do, that's a big if. I'm going to draw a light... I'm now drawing a light outline of the hair. A light outline because a lot of this hair is going to be replaced with a hat and I do not want too much trouble. I'm not going to work a whole lot on stuff that I'm eventually just going to erase. You don't want to do that. That's just, that's, that's not even, that's honestly being unproductive. You want to work smarter. It doesn't matter how hard you work on a piece if you're not doing anything, if you're not working on it in a logical order. Um, it just doesn't make sense. So why bother care too much about the hair if I'm going to erase most of it anyway? Uh, I don't know. Again, I'm just trying to find something to talk about while I draw. Hopefully this isn't taking too long. Let me see what the time is now. 
And that's 11 minutes um, uncut. So it's probably going to be like at least 10 minutes for you. It must be really boring just listening to a guy, a little boy. Okay, maybe not a little boy, just a, a boy droll on about crap for 10 minutes. And, and you're just only listening to the sound of his voice. And he's not even a professional like Mark Crilly. Mark Crilly is amazing. If you don't, if you haven't seen him, check him out. I'm going to purposely tilt this hat. Um, and it's, and, be, and he's just genuinely, he's genuinely um, interesting to hear. I love hearing him talk. As for some amateur artist on the internet that no one's heard of, uh, you probably have clicked off the video by now. Either that or you skipped onto the speed paint because you really just don't care. Okay. I'm getting, getting in some uh, more finalized line work here. Um... By the way, and speaking of final line work, normally when I do final line work on a traditional piece nowadays, I like to outline it with a uh, with a mechanical pencil. Any mechanical pencil will do. Any mechanical pencil, as long as it doesn't suck and it has an eraser. And then I use the eraser on the mechanical pencil usually to... Uh, get rid of all the other pe all the other under pen underlining pencil lines so it looks a lot cleaner I'll actually show I may show you one of my pictures later on like and I'm getting and this piece is about to be wrapped up as for the line art aspect of it I should probably uh, lift this up. So it's going to be... So we have, This is about it. It's going to be a lot more finished in the final version. Not just color-wise, but it's also going to probably have a background, probably have a little rainbow. Um, watercolor. So I'm mean, going to go for a watercolor-ish look, because that's just how retro anime goes. Well, 60s anime goes. It's painted. And, uh, yeah, so that should be about it. Thank you all for watching. We're about to head on to speed paint. Uh, I hope you have a great day. And I'll see you guys in the, uh... Wait, wait, better. Yep. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Imagine me and you, I do, I think about you day and night, it's only right to think about the girl you love, and hold her tight, so happy together, if I should call you up, invest a dime, and you say you belong to me, and lose my mind, imagine how the world could be, so very fine, so happy together.
dice.